What's up guys and welcome back to the channel so today we are with this beautiful Arrow Blue Crystal RS3 what an amazing motor brand new 2018 version as well we're going to be joined with Charlie the owner he's just going to run you through what the spec is what optional extras are on it what trims on it a few of the mods he's done snap crackle and pop same as his A45 AMG so I won't have you waiting any longer let's get in there let's get Charlie explaining all about it Right guys, so we're in the car and we're joined with Charlie, the owner. Uh, let's go for it, let's get straight into it. Spec. Uh, 2018 Audi RS3 Saloon, finished in Arabrulu Crystal. Um, quite a few options on the car. We've got the Sports Pack, which is the Mag Ride and Sports Exhaust System. Uh, we've got the RS Design Pack, which is the red bits in the interior. Seats, the Alcantara, yeah. and the uh, lovely RS floor mat. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got the gloss black pack, which all the chrome that comes on the vehicle standard is in gloss black, which I think really sets the car mm -hmm. um, really sets the car off. I'm not a fan of chrome, to be honest with you. I'm not, I hated it. Um, we've got the carbon inlays, which are probably the most ridiculously expensive yeah, option yeah, for a bit of carbon. Yeah thousand pound I know uh, we've got the red brake calipers um, the upgraded 19 inch titanium black alloys yes. um, do you know what I think that might be it, there's probably more there probably yeah. is more but they're probably the main Your main features, the main like features that. that there is mm -hmm. yeah so with the mag ride there gives more some gadgets what's all that about um, basically the mag ride is the shock absorbers I've got um, like iron filings in them and magnets mm -hmm. um, basically what happens is when you're in comfort um, the magnetic, magnetic ride and the iron filings aren't active so the, the shock absorbers are in like the softest, softest mode yeah. um, so obviously when you're just driving normal it's obviously smooth comfy and it sort of irons out all the bumps then mm -hmm. when you put it into dynamic or individual what happens is it activates the iron filings with the magnets and it stiffens up the shock absorbers mm -hmm. so it gives it a lot firmer ride makes it grip obviously a lot better yeah, yeah. Um, which makes it obviously a lot more sportier. But the good thing is, is because it's got the like the upgraded wheels, the 19-inch wheels on, the quite low profile. Yeah, yeah. When obviously you've got the mag ride and the softest setting, it in, in like a normal car, the, you'd be able to feel all the bumps and it would yeah, still be yeah. firm ride. But it just makes it feel like a lot smoother and it just yeah, sort of yeah. glides over over all the bumps. Yeah, I was going to say it definitely remains its comfort, like 100% yeah, remains its yeah. comfort. I mean, a lot of people say um, if you're going to get an RS3, then that's probably one of the main features. Mm -hmm. features to yeah, 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 yeah. Let's say we're on the mirrors now, guys, and uh, obviously you guys from the UK know that no road in the UK is good. No road in the UK comes out with potholes, but driving through the mirrors now and totally not comfortable. Yeah, totally not comfortable. It's nice, man. Right. So, inspiration for the car. What was it? Well, I always wanted an RS3 when I got the A45. Um, is this a Costa advertisement, by the way? Yeah, we're part of the Coronation Street Costa partnership. <laughs> Might not be able to say that, but I will. Um, 
I, when I got her, um, when I got the A45, I originally wanted an RS3, but they stopped production on the pre facelift ones mm -hmm. to um, obviously start production on these ones. Yeah. So obviously I got an A45, but then the um, AVL Advanced Vehicle Leasing in Middlesbrough, the lad um, who was sort of told the cars out rang me up and said, look, there's a cancelled order of an RS3. Yeah. Um, virtually every spec you could want on it, um, I can get you out of your car and in this car for like a deal that if I said no to I would literally probably be sat now in a box crying because yeah. I didn't take that deal. That's yeah, how yeah, good it was. Yeah, really yeah. Really yeah. But yeah, yeah, I always wanted an RS3. Um, I originally wanted a, a Nardo grey one but I thought there's quite a lot of Nardo greys out there and I thought they are a blue, especially when it gets in the sunlight and it's been um, ceramic coated by Prestige Car Bar in Middlesbrough oh, yeah. and it just looks unbelievable yeah yeah absolutely like just like. The, the, I think even when you can you can see it on some of the shots that we got of just the mm -hmm. uh, sun on the paintwork and how much it just, it just does, yeah yeah that sparkle is beautiful yeah. it really goes up goes through your eyes like uh, yeah the F45 AMG like obviously it was your first car your first proper car wasn't it it but was people in the comments might kind of diss us for this but the A45 AMG is like an expensive boy racer car isn't it this is like yeah we've grown up a little bit haven't we well <laughs> we still like the pops and crackles. Yeah, yeah. I know the pops and crackles. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, pops and crackles, uh, some mods there. Yeah, we've got, um, as you know, I had the A45 about a week um, before I did anything to it. I waited a little bit longer with this one, mm -hmm. um, about a week or three days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we put um, the Miltec downpipe on it. Yeah. Um, it's got, we were having the sports exhaust, it didn't actually come with the secondary caps in it, mm -hmm. so that was helpful. Yeah. Um, we've also got a, at the moment we've got a pipe cross um, air filter in it, but I have actually ordered a Leo Motorsport induction kit, but right, they're on yeah. back order from the US, so I'm probably I'm probably going to be getting it around probably the New Year time. Yeah, yeah, um, we'll some time for it. Aren't we? But like I say, we've got the our uh, Campbell's tuning stage two um, software on mm -hmm. the car running uh, 487.2, and also we've got uh, our development. Uh, pop, and pop and crackle software on. As some of you may know, the facelift models don't really pop and bang due to the new emissions regulations and all that boring yeah. Um So, Beep. yeah, so basically I thought, well, it wants to be boring and not have any pops and bangs. Yeah, what is life yeah. about pops and bangs? Absolutely. So I thought, let's start some development work on that mm -hmm. and. Um, well, I'd like it if you could leave some comments in the description and let me know what you think uh, about the pops and crackles. If yeah. it's too much or if it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Some of you guys who have uh, probably been with us for a while will know Charlie from the A45 videos, as mentioned. And Charlie has his own remapping business and what have you. He does all his own work. He's a very clever lad. Yes, I have, uh, I have five GC GCSEs. 5 GCSEs, is that what got you your email from business? Uh, probably. <laughs> no, definitely not. But yeah, um, yeah if you would uh, like to go to my Facebook page, Campbell's Tuning, uh, or follow me on Instagram, Campbell's underscore tuning, uh, you'll be able to see obviously all the development work that we've done on the car, um, all the cars that we do. Um, and if you're in the northeast and you want any dyno runs, any remaps, just give us a shout. If you use a Let's Talk Cars 10, um, I can offer you a 10% discount um, as well. Put it all up on the screen now. Right guys, well, that's enough for the chatting I reckon. We'll uh, go out now, get some shots for you, those crackles and pops, get them. So you what, we'll go do a launch as well. We'll go get a launch. First launch. First launch as well, first, first launch. launch. He has only owned the car two months by the way, so that is why first launch, first launch coming up. I'm just scared it's gonna be a bit too fast, isn't it? <laughs> See how it grips in this weather, like the road is a bit damp as well, so obviously this time of year it's bound to be. We will come back with the second video as well guys, obviously we'll do the launches today. I'll stick one of them in the videos just to show you how it does launch and how it handles the road and how it grips. I as said, I will come back with the second video, we'll do two launch controls, we'll get a 0 to 60 time, and after those two launch 0 to 60s, we'll put an average just to see what this car can do. So yeah guys, before that second video comes out for the uh, 0 to 60 times, so the launch is there. In this video, 
I want you to comment below and guess what you think this not 60 time is going to be. Don't be going on auto trade and looking at the tech specs and looking at the not 60 times. Just, just guess. Obviously, like I said, the weather will have a bit of an effect on the not 60 time, no doubt. But comments below, guys. What do you reckon the not 60 time is going to be in the second video? But yeah, as said, guys. Anyway, let's get out. Let's have a nice little drive. Let's catch some nice sounds. Get some launches done. the beautiful brand new Audi RS3 Charlie telling you all about it there the locals being pretty shocked some beautiful sounds some beautiful drive-bys hit that like button guys comment below hit the notification for future videos subscribe if you haven't already until the next one guys peace out and take care